So just a couple of misconceptions in our first reading here. Uh, some, well, let's put it this way. When I was younger, I, uh, I was defending the faith and the people that I was speaking to said, oh, well, you shouldn't baptize babies. And I said, really, why? Or no, I'm sorry, they didn't ask why. They said my baptism didn't count because I was baptized as a baby. They had asked me if I had accepted Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior, and I said, yes, I had. And they said, when were you baptized? And I said, as a baby. So they said, well, it didn't count. I said, what do you mean it didn't count? And they said, St. Paul says in the book of Romans that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Clearly, as a baby, I could not confess with my mouth, and I was not old enough to know what was going on, so I couldn't believe in my heart. Now, needless to say, I disagreed with them because the early Christians were baptizing babies without any thought of it uh, being odd, uh, you're almost up until the time of St. Augustine where they started holding off baptism. And if you've read St. Augustine's uh, uh, confessions, they put off baptism because they knew if you got baptized, then you had to act like a Christian. It was a little bit more tough, so it was better to wait until you were older to get baptized. <clears throat> but here's the problem. One, if you said this, then babies who died before they were, I don't know, five, six, seven years old, they wouldn't be saved. It makes no sense. However, also, St. Paul is not talking about babies being baptized here. Again, in St. Paul's time, if the family got baptized, they baptized the baby with the whole family. They didn't wait. So what could he mean here? St. Paul is trying to defend, one, his mission uh, and his message. He, he says that it's important that he goes out and preaches. Because how will people know what to believe in unless someone has been sent to them? Unless they preach the word, then people can know it. And when they know it, then they can believe in their heart and confess with their lips. We're straight on this, yes? Good. The next misconception, and I think this one might be more popular for Catholics, modern-day Catholics, um, uh, he gives this, how can they, all right, we'll quote, uh, how can they call on him whom, uh, in whom they have not believed, and how can they believe in him in whom they have not heard, and how can they hear without someone to preach, and how can people preach unless they are sent? And I think modern Catholics say, oh, all right, good, so, so priests preach or maybe missionaries preach, I'm off the hook. That's talking about somebody else, clearly not me. But that's not the case. The old word, let's actually, it's where we get the name for mass. At the end of mass, people are sent out to bring the good news, to bring Christ to the world. It's also why our church is called apostolic. Our church is one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic. Apostolic means sent, it's Greek, where we the root word for postal, uh, you know, to be sent. And so all of us are sent out to preach. I like the, the quote attributed to St. Francis, but he probably didn't say it. 
He said, we must preach always. And when all else fails, use words. In other words, we preach the loudest homily with our lives, with our actions, with the examples that we set. But we are called to share our faith. And in order to share our faith, we have to have a relationship with Jesus. If we don't have a relationship with Jesus, we are not sharing our faith, we're just sharing some facts. And facts are important. But we need to give people what they desperately seek, and that's Jesus. Our, our society, I like people who are in the desert, in the wilderness, they are lost. They're thirsty for life-giving water, and that is Jesus. So while uh, the, the first misconception, I think, defends the Catholic Church, the second misconception, I think, convicts us. Are we sharing our faith with other people? 